Hey, two buddies, it is game time. Out of these two thumbnails, one of them scored 40% more clicks than the other. Can you guess which one? For many creators, the hardest part about creating content is not even the video editing and upload process, but instead it's the process to get people to click into your video so they can start absorbing the goodness that lies within. In the past, we've made videos about how to craft a compelling title as well as how to create more clicks with your thumbnails. If you want a review of that, I'm gonna go ahead and link that over here. Why don't you tell me it's over here? It's over here, right? So that you can take a review. Now, of course, today we're gonna get back to the game that we started, which was of these two thumbnails, which one got 40% more clicks? If you guessed this one, you were correct. You wanna do a round two? Here we go. Two more thumbnails, one of these also got more clicks, 40% more clicks to be exact. Which one do you think it is? I'm gonna give you a second. It was this one. How many of you got that right as well? If you did, stop this video right now, go comment below that you got it right, okay? That's your homework. And just like if you were selling a house, you would wanna make sure that your curb appeal was looking good so that potential buyers could come and fall in love with your house and see what's inside versus being scared and never even making it through the front door. Now, one thing that we see a lot here is people are not sure what kind of thumbnail that their audience is going to react best to. Of course, inside of Click Magnet, we do have some of those elements that are going to tell you if your audience and viewers, they like certain things, such as your face in a thumbnail or not in a thumbnail, words on the screen or not on the screen. And you can experiment and play given the data that is coming back to you from inside of that report. Another thing that you can do though, is you can test two different thumbnails, one with some of the items that you think the audience wants, and maybe even some that would be completely opposite. You could try two thumbnails, one with text and one without text and see which one actually tracks better with your viewers. Now, the way that this works, we will trade out your thumbnail every 24 hours for either one of two scenarios. One is going to be for a specific amount of time and we'll flip flop it back and forth and then report back to you what that data looks like. The second option, which is my personal favorite, which is until statistical significance is achieved. What does that mean, Shelly? It just means that we're gonna keep track of all of the math for you, and then whichever one is a clear winner, we're gonna set the variation to that. Now, here's something that you may not know. Of course, when most people think of A-B testing, they almost invariably always consider it being with thumbnails. But I'm here to tell you that you can do A-B testing with TubeBuddy with more than just thumbnails. Wanna test a different title? You can do that. Wanna test a different description box or perhaps a different link in your description box, you can do that and we can still track your results. We're also going to give you more information in these reports that you see, and it's going to give you information such as even if the click through rate was higher on one, what did the retention look like? So you may actually find that the click through rate is high, but the retention is low in some circumstances. So you may want to reconcile that against which one you would actually pick as the winner. Now keep in mind when you're doing AB testing, it's best to change small things at a time so that you can be sure what is actually causing the change. If you change five things at the same time, it's gonna be really hard to pinpoint which of the changes is actually making a difference. So that's why we either say a thumbnail test or we would refer to it as a metadata test. And if you do a metadata test, maybe something as just one title versus another title, or perhaps one change in description box versus another. Again, if you change everything, all the tags, all the titles, all of the description box, it's gonna be a little bit harder to pinpoint which one is actually driving a significant change. The default time for A-B test is gonna be 14 days, but of course you can change that. And also it can even take less time if you're choosing the statistical significance option. It could take anywhere from a couple days to many, many weeks. I wanna take a second to put on screen the comment of the video. Thank you so much for interacting with our video. And if you want your comment to be featured in an upcoming video, then make sure you comment on this video. Now, I don't think many of you would run into this issue, but let's just put it out there for transparency's sake. We do have a limit of 10 simultaneous A-B tests running at the same time. Other than that, there's no limit on how many can go per month, just 10 at the same time is the limit. If you've run a really fun A-B test recently, drop that comment below and let us know about it. I always love hearing about all of those types of tests that you're running out there. To check on the progress of your A-B test, you can go into TubeBuddy.com and go into the A-B testing section and manage and see all of your previously run A-B tests, as well as you'll see a message inside of the main user interface drop down in the messages section of TubeBuddy.
Ooh, one thing I do want to bring up and mention is that you can schedule A-B tests for the future. So if you want to, you can definitely go in and do that. As you're setting up your A-B test, you'll see that you can schedule it for the future dates. If you're ready to start A-B testing and you're not even sure which video to start with, you might also take a peek inside of Click Magnet in the CTR report. That way you can actually cherry pick videos that are going to be performing well already, but maybe the click through rate isn't great and that could be a great place to start. Okay, you guys wanna play one more round of the game? One of these thumbnails performed 24% higher than the other. Which one do you think it was? Now, when an A-B test is complete, we are going to show you all of the data that we've collected during that time that the test was run. If you really wanna dive into the numbers, check out the right-hand side of the report, which is gonna dive deep into all of the analytics. And if you're just looking for an overall kind of score or general feeling, then check out the left-hand side column. A-B testing does require a legend level of two, buddy. So if you need to take a review of all the things that you get in legend, including click magnet, I'm gonna leave this video over here. You can go watch it. Thanks so much for hanging out with us too, buddy. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.